It's just, just another Shark Man podcast. Hello and welcome to Just Another Shark Man podcast. It's me, Jack, and we're going to talk about Shark Man. And there's Fergus is here as well. Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Ferg. so excited. Right, should we get on with this? Yes, yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very special day today, Jack, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because Shark Man 2 came out the, five years Five ago. years, five years today. Um, so we're going to be doing a little so let's just talk a about retrospective. Uh, first, uh, uh, no, Jack, we need to do, come on, let's do the light banter. Yeah. Let's like stand, you know, intro banter. Jack, what are you up to? I I see I see you've near you're just about to finish your Rubik's cube. No, I've actually finished it or I've actually finished it already. I finished about half an hour ago. No, and I would lo- say like the joy is sort of fairly fleeting. That considering the amount of time I spent making it, it's kind of. But I mean, we no, could fuck. we could no fuck don't oh we oh, so oh so my so god now, but now you get to do it all again, Jack. That's cool. You it's get to finish it me, again. It's gonna take finish me, it live on the podcast. This is gonna take me years. Well, it's even so if it you've messed it up too much, fuck. Oh. Well, even if it's more laboured, it doesn't mean you can't recapture the joy of it all over again by redoing it. Mm. Maybe one day. So what have I, been, I've, what have I been up to? So Jack? what have you been up to, Ferg? Yeah, I've been um, apart from spending several hours last night working on this podcast, and I'm glad all these hours are paying off now because uh, this is the podcast we work towards today. This is the episode. Many fruitful hours on this podcast. Yeah. Um, both of us spent that, didn't I, we? I, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I've i also been playing the new Sharkman video game. Finally arrived. Yeah, I know. Thought I'd let you know, Jack. No, I know. You, I know you have. Yeah. Well, what's really cool, Jack, if you don't know. There's two buttons there's and two... you can do to the left and do to the right. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, well, I just... Yeah, it's really good. Um, so... Should we just get on with it then? Yes, listeners. So, today we're doing our retrospective of Shark Man 2 because it's the fifth anniversary today. And we've we went went and got we've got some hot info here in yeah. this we've got all so our own so our own notes here that we've written out. Which we're reading from these from our notes. Our yeah. notes we've got. They're not very long. No? Um but most of them are blacked out, aren't they, folks? Yeah, well I ha- I spilled um But it's still uh, it's still exclusive content, isn't it? Well, Jack, it's not necessarily exclusive but it's but it's but it's accurate and that's right. the important thing okay um would well, you want to go go ahead start? so let's let's take you on this journey um so uh, da, 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 da. after the promising yet measured success of the first shark man film the shark man studios ceo decided to continue on his plan that he but that he'd planned all along of course to create a shark man universe of films shark man 2 was the first step in this journey and it met great critical success production on the film started on march the 12th it was efficient fruitful and apart from one Small, tragic, and unavoidable accident. Safe. Also, a lot of fun. By the end of production, most of the crew members were best friends or married. The film came out to great success. Um, just a note here that says clarification. So, a note I've written here that says clarification. Right. Um, due to the large turnover mm. and media coverage of the film there were some necessary legal proceedings that occurred as you might be aware of listeners but they were all standard procedure that happens with every film guess that's it for yeah. So that's our that's Shark Man. That's our retrospective on Shark Man too. Um, great film. Really great to be celebrating it here. So, so if I could just um, oh cut oh. in there really quickly before you wrap up. Oh, and oh, right. just clarify. Yeah, so, 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 sorry, lis- sorry, listeners. Hi. I thought uh, you weren't going to speak. No, so, yeah. No. Uh, this is our guest for the podcast. Right. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't mention her uh, uh, before because, because we wanted to be surprised. A surprise. Yeah. So this is our guest. We've been trying to. 
We've been trying to get her on the podcast for weeks. Um, she's from Sharpman Studios. She's a she's a leg Serena. Her name's Serena, and she's a legacy manager um, for for Sharpman Studios, dealing with the with the Sharpman Two portfolio. And she's just here to clear up some details. Um, and and that's uh, we that's what we planned. And she's here. I- and this is what's happening in the podcast. I feel a bit uncomfortable about this. Film. I always feel uncomfortable, Jack. Get used to it. So as you all know, Jack and Ferg have been brilliant in outlining what exactly Thanks. did happen. Well, that's because we just said exactly Nancy. what you put on this. So what I'm here paper. to do today is clarify what definitely didn't happen oh, right. um, on that same set. So what I want to do is just clarify uh, a couple of rumours. That have still been spreading yeah, yeah. around so what happened, outside of this podcast. What yeah. happened, guys, is we actually did a previous podcast, but we got it wrong. Yeah, We so got we, some things wrong. Some of my research was off. Completely wrong. Zwin has really helped us in making sure all our details are completely accurate. Pleasure. Um, and yeah, we fell, we fell foul to some of these rumours ourselves. She's been great. She's, She's been, been fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So what I'd like to start with is the scalding oil incident, mm. which uh, obviously talks about how scalding oil was used as a replacement for actual water for rain. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What actually happened was it was a gas leak. Right. Oh. Complete accident. Yeah. Didn't actually, it wasn't actually planned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I think about it, why would anyone do that? Perfectly? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. The next thing I'd like to say is that rumour that the CEO uh, took a direct copy of Sharkman 1 and used it for Sharkman 2, absolutely not true. No. And then embedded into that rumour, uh, the fact that he was trying to make a deliberate flop right, uh, for the purposes of making money, <laughs> just not true. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds exactly like that movie yeah. um, uh, Sharkman Makes a Play. Yeah, great film. Yeah, great film. Mm, no, it just, anyway. it, I mean, it, it isn't like that. No, that's that exactly one. what it's not like. Yeah. No, yeah. that's exactly that, what it's yeah. not like. Right. And it's not like he would have taken inspiration from that real life experience to make Sharkman to make Makes a Play. Sharkman makes no, a play. No, Absolutely because not. Because of course, you know, all that. All because <laughs> fiction is fiction. And facts are facts. Yeah, so I think that's everything. Yeah, thank you so much thank for you. clearing oh, those Well, well there, there are a bunch of other rumours. Oh, there's more. Oh, how many, how many can there be? Uh, quite a few. I mean, I mean this, like, this, this rumour that there was is a satanic sacrifice happening oh, on set. Oh, I didn't set. even know. I didn't um, know that. The oh, bargains yeah. with the shadow realm. No, just what is the shadow realm? Why would that Completely yeah. unsafe. Oh, and realm. obviously realm. we want to keep everyone safe on yeah, set. Yeah, that's so, so important. Yeah. There were definitely no bargains with the shadow realm. No. Um... And then another rumour that the CEO does not have a name. Yeah, well, I mean, he of, has course, a name. of course he has a name, yeah. What is his name? Oh. It's a brilliant name. Of course it's Right, yes. I'm happy I mean, with he's that. he's a great guy, yeah. So another one that I'd, I'd like to bring up mm-hmm. is um, that all the accidents were planned and, oh. you know, constructed for the direct entertainment of the CEO. Again, oh. uh, demonstrably not true. No, of course not. Well, I mean, that would be, I mean if, that, if that were true, that would be horrible. He's a lovely guy. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, every time I see him, he's not hurting someone. Have you ever seen him? I've never physically seen him. Okay, no. I'm happy with that. Yeah. And then, and I'm sure you guys have heard this one, right. the idea that all the actors on set were just sacks of potatoes with faces drawn on them. Oh, right. Oh, I've never no, heard no, that. No, we've never heard that. Just not true. And even if there were sacks of potatoes on set, which there weren't, we definitely, definitely did not draw on the individual potatoes in the sack. Right. No. no. Why would you do that? That's I mean, a, that would be... Because that's a waste of time. Be because dangerous. we would never see the actual potatoes in the sack. No. I mean, surely that's a budget issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Thank you so much for thank clearing you so all much, that up. Yeah. Um, actually, while we've got you here, I was just wondering, can we just ask you about your job a little bit? I'm fascinated mm. to know what you do. So mm. really, yeah, tell us about what your, what your job entails. What's mm. your day-to-day? Well, I mean, apart from all the social media and, you know, all the building up the fan base yeah, yeah. people yeah. such as yourselves yeah. Yeah. all of the fun stuff that we do in the office mm-hmm. it's also you know being on the field and going out and yeah. into people's homes in, yeah. into people's homes just to I chat about chat about exactly yeah. what happens what has happened in uh, the history of shark man yeah. and making yeah. sure that's just leveled out yeah yeah so make sure everyone understands the truth exactly. about things yeah. so mm-hmm. as dictated by you guys exactly yeah um suggested and and sort of encouraged yeah um by us so what what i what i do is i go i go and meet people and and we discuss but you know with any any dangerous job does involve a level of of risk and mm. Mm. that that is what i deal with day Dan- to day. sorry danger what, what so the, the the kinds of what, what's good to understand is the kinds of people who do talk about shark man in a derogatory sense mm. um they're violent people and right. so, I mean, when when I come face to face with these people, yeah, yeah. that there is there is a kind of you know we have had the protocol uh, rule book for for years now. It's yeah. always the same. We we have to do certain things for our own protection. Yeah, you have to act in self defense. Exactly, act yeah. in self defense. And um, I mean, you, have I killed people? Have I? Yes, lots, lots of people. 
but I never started it. No, no you're always just reacting sense. to the violence that's out there. Yeah, you and know, it's a shame that you have to deal with that, actually. It's, well, it's, it's, um, it's part of the job. As I said, also a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, do you, do you just... Yeah, yeah, go for it. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, I can be there in an hour. Take around ten minutes. Okay, if you could book clean up for me after. Thanks. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for everything. It's been fantastic. Thank you so much for helping us with yes. the podcast. Oh, putting oh, us on the right track. Can, can, I, can I grab my bag? Do you want your bag? Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. That looks heavy. All right, guys. Nice to see you. Yeah. And keep it up. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Hashtag Shark Man Forever. Yes, Goodbye. hashtag. Bye. Thanks so much Bye. for coming by. Yeah. Great. So, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed the retrospective. Hope you enjoyed our guest, Serena. She was brilliant. Um, are you all right, Jack? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Um, so, tune in again tomorrow. We're going to be I doing... I guess it's just... I guess it's just... Um, I just feel like we lost a lot of good stuff in the first version of this. Well, well the first... Which is now deleted. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it was, I mean, sorry, as we mentioned earlier, listeners, we, we had a rough draft, but obviously it was very inaccurate. Yeah, I just Serena did a lot came of in and work. helped iron out. I just out. did like a lot of research, and I think it's a bit sad that all of that wasn't used, you know? It was a lot like, yeah, but we got a lot fuller. We realised now it was, it was, that that wasn't 100% accurate, those things. They weren't, you know, it didn't fit in with the, with the proper narrative, and therefore, what's the point of doing it? I suppose. What I'm just saying is maybe we've lost like the original spark. You know, I think I think the first version of that podcast, which I didn't hear back, but I think that it's it's just a lot more energetic and fresh and original. You know, I no, Jack. I think what you're doing there is you're you're, you're talking about things like originality and spark. I think mm. I think you're mistaking the sort of heady rush of doing a first draft and getting into something for the first time. Right. I think that's just because we had. You know, all this stuff we thought that was exclusive and really cool, yeah. but listeners, yeah. it wasn't accurate. And, you know, doing anything for the first time, um, you, you, you are going to think it's really new and cool. Mm. But I don't think that's where good good stuff comes from. So you're saying when you I, do something again, it, it gets better. Exactly. You, you want, it's better to redo something and refine it and polish it. And, and take the things that are a bit rougher and more quote unquote interesting and make right. them more more correct and I think you know in general stuff is you know stuff's better if it's a version of a previous thing mm. like okay this Rubik's Cube Jack you took ages doing this yeah mm. you've taken a couple of years to do this Rubik's yeah, Cube yeah and you've messed it all up now and you must have spent ages you know going down avenues trying things out trying strategies that it turned out were pointless yeah but that was and fun though that was like the point no that's that's not the point jack the point is mm. you did it one time and so we've messed it up again so now yeah. when you do it you don't have to worry about trying things out and having fun just doing the thing itself you you've learned from your mistakes and you can just complete it quicker and it's about doing it more refined and doing it more efficiently, okay, and a, and a, and you'll feel better when you've done it because you haven't had to worry about the process. Okay, so if I just start now, yeah, then do you think when I finish it, I'll feel even better? Absolutely, and I think experiences are better when they're a new version of mm. an old experience. When they're repeated, exactly. Right. Well, uh, I guess I'll set to work. Yeah, you go for it, Jack. <laughs> what theme am I humming? Shark Man 3. You got it. Very similar to the theme of Shark Man 2. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This has been Just Another Shark Man podcast, starring Jack Bradfield as Jack, Fergus MacDonald as Fergus, and Serena Yagub as Serena. Serena is an actor and film producer who works in short fiction, commercial and documentary films, as well as in theatre. You can see some of her latest producing work in the video for cartoon single, Save Me. Artwork by Neve Simpson. Tune in again for more Sharkman news tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that.